Do you have a good intro for your vlog yet? No. Every vlog needs an attention-grabbing intro. Something that keeps people interested and makes them want to watch the rest of the video. David's got me on this one. Not yet. No, not yet. Hey guys, you've seen this. Super easy. But, have you seen somebody landing on the cap? You're gonna be recording for six hours. Yeah, but it'll be crazy if I get it. Oh! <laughs> The stagnation of Scott is truly a tragedy. There was a time when he was the most successful of the group behind Josh and David. You can still see it in his sub count. He could always make a comeback. David needs to surprise Scotty with money, man. He really lost a lot of money after the tour. Well, that would actually be pretty nice. Scott's latest video did well. You think he can get his views back up, like, a year ago or something? Is it bad that I'm sort of forgetting about Scotty? Scotty who? <laughs> the setup. Super important. What's this bitch about? You gotta have a goal you're trying to reach by the end of the video. And mine is to learn how to vlog again. Did you learn how to vlog yet? <laughs> I mean, I've been vlogging. Did I get anything good? Um, you know who's a good person to talk to? Is Joe Volpus. He brings out his camera at the worst times. <laughs> <laughs> Be like in the middle of like something really frustrating at David's house, like we, we can't get the podcast done, and he'll be like, <laughs> Little Blavis? <laughs> Joe, I love you. I actually love doing it. I've grown to love doing videos with Joe, but he does do this thing, which is he turns the camera on and he, he has no premise, not one in, inkling of anything. He just turns it on, and then it's like, Okay, shit, 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 okay. And then I have to come up with the entire, the entire thing. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what he does. That's what I'm afraid of doing. I have grown to love it. I know like what he's going for. I love it. Talk Why to Joe. Here? Joe, hey. thank, sorry. God, thank God you're here. Why? <laughs> because Joe, I need some help. You have like these, these things that you do for your channel. Fuck, where'd you get that? True farms. <laughs> That's dope. Guys, I am trying to do something here. Try not to get off topic. It'll mess with your flow. Right, focus, let's do this. You have things that you do on your channel, like specific set things, so you can like do a new thing, but it's the same thing every week. Should I be doing that on my channel? Wait, let me start over. Let me start from the middle. Okay. <laughs> you know what you're doing, you get tons of views, and everyone loves you. Oh. Uh, what should I do? Uh, you should do something repetitive. You should just do something over and over and over again until everyone's really fucking sick of you. Because <laughs> I do like the mukbangs, but they're fun and different because it's different food and different people. Who told you they're fun and different? I. You don't have to uh -huh. stress over coming up with a completely new idea. No, but for real, you should come up with like a series. If you find something that works for you, stick to it, but don't get too comfortable. If you don't keep the content fresh, You'll rot. Why don't you like go and do something? We all tell him that. That oh. it's not like the fourth person to say this. Go do something. You have to go do it. Go do something. Go do fucking what? Scotty does karate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Go do stuff. I do stuff, Joe. Do more. No, you don't. What do you mean? No, I don't. Call me out on my own YouTube channel. This is this is baloney. Come on. I downloaded a video game I used to play when I was a little kid, and I've been playing that. Why don't you game? Why don't I game? Yeah. Because I get bored in like a day. You used to game. No. I have another idea. You get a board game, organize three of your buddies, and you guys all play it in a round table setting. But that'd be so fun, because then people can watch it. It's like board game Friday night. It sounds boring. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? People would want to watch it. People would want to watch me play board games? I would watch that. If you guys got like like fun ones, like would you rather, like yeah. seeing like you guys do that, that'd be so fun. So now, everyone has their cool things. Jeff cuts people's hair, and it's like a comedy show. You do mukbangs in your car, and my thing would be playing a fucking board game. <laughs> When you say it like that, you're not selling it. Your thing would be playing a board game. Whoa. Scott, <laughs> come on, just do it. You don't have to like it while you do it, but do it. I'll try it. If I don't like it, I won't do it. I think it's, it's a really important for me to find something that I really enjoy doing, because if I do stuff that I don't enjoy, then it, it doesn't come off as genuine. Do what you love, love what you do. If you don't love it, don't do it. If you don't care, why would they care? Exactly. For I just need to find the motivation, the love. And the passion in my trade again. This is deep. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all your advice. Good luck. Thank you. Now get out of my house. <laughs> my house. All right, sorry. <laughs> turn on the camera. Alexa, turn on the barbershop lights. That one takes a little bit longer. Uh -huh. There you go. You are killing it in the YouTube game right now. I was wondering if you had any tips for me. You want some real advice, Scott? I think you're super funny and talented. Just believe in yourself. Keep making those diss tracks. Make in front of your friends. The one that you made to me was kind of personal. What do you bring to the table? Sobriety, some mediocre haircuts, cute butt, but your personality has no variety. I think a lot of it came from a real place. I still appreciate it, and I'm honored to be involved in it. 
Well, you would say that you should always come from a real place, right? Yeah, and then start a whole bunch of problems. People are going to be looking to you for your response. They're going to see, say, how is Scott going to fix this mess? He just did these bad things. And then when you talk about it, people are going to be interested. Stir the pot a little bit. If you're not doing something that gets people talking, what's the point? And what you have to, you should start a podcast. Yeah, I don't know, Scott. Is this what you wanted? Because I didn't get the script till this morning and I didn't really get a chance to read it. So all the stuff you just told me to say, um, I don't know if I said it properly, but just edit it. I think you're super funny and talented. Well, you know who you need to go see. You gotta go see David. He'll get, definitely have something interesting to say about it. Because he's he's always on. I saw him the other night. Oh my god. Zane was, Zane, Zane was in the passenger seat. David was driving. Zane just starts hitting David. Zane took David's camera. He ran out in the middle of the street. I, I have to tell you, it was really impressive. David went like this. <laughs> and starts filming Zane in the middle of the road. I was like, wow! Like, just in case. Always be ready. You never know when content is gonna strike. You have to have that instinct. David lost his camera in Chicago at Natalie's birthday thing for five seconds. He couldn't find it. Immediately pulled out his phone. I'm like, you couldn't even take five seconds to look for your camera, but you're that, like, it's He's that, that like, good. that quick. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking for tips from up and coming YouTubers how to YouTube. You have a channel that has recently been gaining a lot of traction. You post videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, on a tight schedule. Um, okay. And we'll go with that. you do Sunday videos and also a couple throughout the week you have a duo channel So I want to know like your guys perspectives things that I could do to maybe help my channel out sure Well, well we have vastly different channels. Yeah, so maybe this is good So what works for them is uh, they go to Starbucks a lot and what they do is they basically they'll order a bunch of drinks and they'll drink them and that's really it. <laughs> I feel like it's good to have a partner because actually, you can bounce ideas off each other. If somebody doesn't have an idea, the other person probably will. If someone doesn't want to post, the other one's like, no, we got to post. Get your ass up. Let's so go do something. Everybody told me I needed to do something. Go and do something. Start a whole bunch of problems. Basically. Do you recommend that I get a partner to do YouTube I mean, videos with? It would yeah. help. But he's the opposite. It's just him. Todd, can it's you just him. Cough? I, I, <laughs> did you cough for a reason? No, I don't do it. <laughs> What, it, what, is, what is he doing? I don't know. Yeah, my advice to you would be to be consistent. This sounds ironic coming from Dave, but it's true. If you have a certain time and a certain day that you post, people will be ready to watch your video. Think about TV shows, if any of you remember what TV is like. When a new episode of your favorite show was coming out, it would come out at a certain time on a certain day, so you knew exactly when you should sit down and watch it. This is so important. Like, post on time. People love science experiments. Scott's been vlogging for like three years. I love science experiments. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, you, you haven't you been doing this for a while? But I forgot how to do it. You know what you should do? What? You should, you should go into public and just start doing random things. Like, I, I think it'd be funny to see you at like CVS and just putting the camera down and just going, ah! <laughs> just see how people react. Like really fake pranks. You should mess with the public. Like go out right now just completely by yourself to Ralph's and interact with strangers. Completely by myself. Do you realize like how insecure I am? That's yeah, like the opposite of what I want to do ever have this in my video life. Be Hey, I'm Scott, and today I'm going to face my insecurities. Ooh. Stepping out of your comfort zone can bring you new opportunities. That is a good idea. That's, that's intro. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm that is a really good idea. And, and bother people. I like people that. People who watch our videos really like just daily vlogs, too. Like, Aaron and I have been doing that recently, and people love just watching us live our it's lives. It's like filming whatever you're so doing. Like if the second you wake up, you start filming. But then you have to actually do stuff, right? Not really. Just... <laughs> well, do you just sit at your house all day? No, but like, it just... Little things like errands. Just film. Something's bound to happen. That's it for the tips. Nothing else, guys? That's it. Are you sure? You don't have any other Whoa. advice for me. Whoa. Nothing else. Whoa. At all. Whoa. <laughs> all right. No, nothing well, else. Thanks. You're not going to do that to me? <laughs> I feel like it would just be a little inappropriate. <laughs> Heath, productivity uh -huh. brother. Used to be productivity brother until you fucking left me. Say that to my face. Again. Until <laughs> so you fucking left me, bro. You know what? Can't. No, it's alright. You were being productive on your own. You had tour. You were doing your thing. But now you're back. Now I'm trying to get back into the swing of YouTubing. You're asking me how to YouTube? Don't ask me. Ask Mariah. When she does the editing, she makes me look good. That's fair. I think. <laughs> no, I mean, if I wish I could I could help you out. It's just... Come on, just the tip. Just to see how it feels. Just, just, I don't know if I like it or not. Uh, honestly, if you get an idea, run with it. Run. Ideas are not like scissors. You can run with them. You can. And okay. you should. Joe, you're the only person who laughs when I say things, so I just want to say thank you so much. I think you're hilarious. All your jokes are so funny. <laughs> Scott's really clever and my execution's just poor. No no no, I think you're I think you're really funny. I just don't think you think you're funny and So my confidence is what kills it for me. Kind of. Confidence is important. If you're gonna do something, give it your all. Scott like doesn't try to be funny. It's not like you like I have a joke, I'm gonna say a joke now. It's just like you say something and like you don't realize how funny it is. 
when you're saying it. Sometimes I'm trying really hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so have a little bit more confidence in myself. That you're is like, doing so good right now. I don't believe you, but I believe in me. That's all that matters. Believe in yourself. Step two, just turn the camera on, man. When in doubt, vlog it out. Shit, I forgot to turn it on this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Step three, phone a friend to help you with content. You can't do this shit on your own. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have a group. You've got to have a support system. You need your boys, and I'm your boy, and I got you. Thank you, my brother, my boy. That was an you're, awkward. You're really clammy. I'm just kind of cold right oh, now. He's nervous. He's getting back to walking. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you all learned something. I know I did. As always, my merch is linked below, as well as all of my music. Please listen to it. <laughs> I give a shout out to someone who has my notifications on, and today that person is Emily. Emily? Here's your shout out. Emily, I saw that you came to a tour stop. I just watched an old clip and I miss it a whole lot. If I promised I'd do it again someday, would you come back again? Don't say that you would if you wouldn't, that you could if you couldn't. If you don't want to, you shouldn't. A peppermint is a good mint. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Let's roll it to the credits, shall we? Whoop. Don't be sad, buy my merch. I got don't be sad on hoodies and shirts. And when you're done with that, you can add me on Snap. If you don't use that, add me on Instagram. If you want a shout out, then peep my tweets and I'll wrap your name over a real sick beat. Now, peace. Sorry, did we get anything usable? Oh yeah, I use everything. <laughs> <laughs>